Viste encebollado. In essence, this is flank steak cooked Puerto Rican style with onions. Very delicious. I guarantee it's going to be tender. And as a bonus, I have a side of sweet plantains. And remember, if I can cook it, so can you. So go nowhere. Let's create. So let's first take care of the plantain. A yellow plantain is ripe. I just like to peel it first, you have to be careful. This is a big knife, you can use a smaller one. See how easy? Pull this baby out, like a banana, almost. Not quite, but almost. And then I like to cut it in wedges. See how they look, the wedges? It's that simple. I have a yellow onion. I took the, I peel it, the outside. I like to cut in half. Carefully. Trying to get an angle for the camera here. So this one, you're going to cut a little bit different. You're going to create some horizontal onions. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this Puerto Rican dish called bistec encebollado, which means creating this flank steak with onions. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get a quarter of a cup of apple, apple cider vinegar. So a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. You might need less than that actually. Maybe one eighth of a cup. What I'm doing here, getting this one, baby, moist. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to add my sazon, which is homemade. We call it sazon. So what I have here is coriander. Everything is ground, coriander. I have um, cumin, black ground pepper, smoked paprika, turmeric, salt. All of them, each is one eighth of a teaspoon. I also have a two clove of garlic, which I means, and I have about maybe a quarter or maybe half a teaspoon of dry oregano. And I'm going to mix them, create my homemade sazon. I think that's how I call it earlier, sazon. And I'm going to add, and notice I put the vinegar first. Now I'm going to add this. And I'm going to mix it well. But before I do that, actually, let me mix it now. So both sides get this nice mix of flavor. See how the juice looks like? And actually, let me put the entire one quarter cup. Make sure this baby is there. Then you add the onions. I want them to be tasty. So when I add them, I mix them up. Easy to follow ingredients. I put. I will put them in the description. And you're going to mix this baby so the flavors and the aroma mix well together. If you feel that you need to add a little bit of of the uh, apple cider vinegar, just add a tiny bit more. You can turn it some, so that's why I add a little bit more. You can turn it some for the next step. If you want more aromatics, simply add a bay leaf and you can refrigerate this for an hour. You can do it for overnight. 
is going to be amazing. So I'm going to use a cast iron. You can use any type of uh, pan. You just want a little bit deep, you know. And I, it's preheating, medium high. Going to put, say about a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. You can use any type of oil, but I'm going extra virgin. And what you do is you preheat this for a few seconds. You're going to add you be stay. Wash your hands. I say about one side for a couple of minutes. And as he's doing that, add some of the onions, no all, just some, because you want some of that juice now. The vinegar is going to keep it tender. That's what the vinegar does. That's why I have a little bit extra vinegar because you're going to need some to keep things tender. And I say you cook one side for about two minutes and then you're going to flip it, okay? About two minutes later, I let it cook for three actually, three minutes, you flip it. Look at this beauty, huh? So what you're going to do now, you add the remaining of the onions and the juices. And you're going to let the other side cook for about maybe four minutes, three to four minutes. Same heat, kind of medium high. Because you want this baby cooked, you don't want it raw. That's not how you eat it. Not this particular meal. Now it's time to cook the ripe plantains. This is very simple. I use some vegetable oil. You can use corn oil. Doesn't matter. I went with vegetable. It's cheaper than extra virgin olive oil. I had it deep. I use in cast iron. A little bit deep. So I had it preheating a high. Reduce it to medium. The reason it's gone to medium is because you want the inside of the plantain to cook the in inside. If you have it too high, it will cook outside, burn, and the inside won't cook. And you just put them there and let them cook until they're ready. You will know. And this one is not super ripe, so it's going to take a little bit more time. But if it's very ripe, it's, going to, it's sweeter. The riper, the sweeter. Okay? Look at this baby here cooking. It's been about four minutes. Let me turn it so you guys see how it looks. See how beautiful? If you want to cook the other side for another minute, that's fine. But this is about done. I flip it because I want to cook the other side for one more minute. Get this onions nicely caramelized. And this baby is ready. Just waiting for the plantains to cook over there. The other side and we'll be ready, okay? So it's about maybe four or five minutes when they're ready. Just transfer them from there to a plate with a paper towel so the grease drip out. Also going to cook some rice, a small amount. I have a video that show you how to cook it. You can watch that video, it's very simple.